In this Cinema 4D Quick Tip, we're going to look at how to use the formula effector to get a staggered brick pattern while just using a single cloner object. So here we've got a cloner in a grid array, and we're just using a 6x8 grid, and we need to offset every other row of this brick pattern. So we're going to go ahead and use the formula effector. And again, I'll make sure that my cloner is selected and add the formula effector to my scene. And again, we're going to go ahead and immediately get rid of that scary formula that's there by default. I'm going to go into the parameter tab and remove the scaling so that we can just deal with the position and see what's going on here. So we learned in a previous tutorial that each object in the cloner has an ID. Each individual clone has an ID, and we can use the modulo function in order to stagger based on the ID. But when we have a grid array, it's a little bit more complex. The grid array numbers the clones first across and then up. So this brick is ID 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then we have 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and so on. So what we want to do here is again use the modulo. But if we simply do mod ID semicolon 6, what we're going to get is not the result we want. And that's because the result of our function is going to be 0, 1, 2, 3. And then up here, this is ID 6. And so again, it's 0, 1, 2, 3. What we need to do is modulate based on 12 because we want to deal with two rows at a time. So we're going to do modulo ID 12. And we're close, but here's the next thing. We don't want to affect any of the bricks that are in the second row. So we only want to deal with the bricks where the modulo of the ID in 12 is less than 6. And that's going to get us just the first row of each pair of rows. And there you have it. A staggered brick pattern, ready to go, based on a single cloner object. The only thing you have to keep in mind here is that this second parameter of the modulo needs to always be twice the number of bricks in a single row. And this number here needs to be the number of bricks in a single row. So this number should always be twice this number. Have fun and put another brick in the wall.